When the winter came, you were not around. Parting from the nest, leaving me down. Where were you when I need you last winter? My love, now that winter's came, you not around. Hiding from love's nest, leaving me down. Where are you when I need you, like right now? Our love is at an end, but you see now you have changed. No tomorrow will reflect the past. Okay, stop, 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 stop. We're not going to go further. Okay. Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. I'm going to talk to this mental stuff today, stuff that makes me say, why, 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 why am I straight? You know, who, where, where's the, I mean, the craziness, sometimes it just don't stop, right? But I'm feeling some kind of way, family, about, Charlie Sheen. I mean, a lot of y'all out here make it a real, real, real big deal. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't or where it should go about uh, Rob, R. Kelly. And you are, I mean, especially people that look like him. Yeah, he should be in jail for a thousand years. Yeah. And like I said, it's just a matter of perception. Now you got Charlie Sheen who settles lawsuits with an ex-girlfriend who claimed he exposed her to HIV and he agreed to pay her $120,000. And he allegedly, now this is, I'm reading this from an article it was from Daily Mail. So, um, Ain't no, I don't even got to say allegedly. The lawsuit settled five years ago said the woman claims that she had unprotected sex with her he had before revealing that he was HIV positive. Okay? She, 56, was diagnosed as HIV positive around 2011 but did not reveal that information um, until November 2015. Now, Ain't no jail time for him. I just want to know. I mean, is it me? Is it me? Let me finish reading this. Charlie C. He settled his suit. Of course. Oh, yeah. The anonymous woman who filed the suit, also referred to as Jane Doe, previously informed the court that upon meeting Charlie Sheen, she signed a non-disclosure agreement out of fear. The lawsuit filed five years ago said the woman claimed that she, a confidential male defendant, had unprotected sex with her before revealing that he was HIV positive. But the legal case, which has involved the two and a half actor for a half a decade, has now been put to rest. He, he don't got to do no 30 years. And he go around uh, no, let me say what I want to say. Having sex with women unprotected knowing that he's HIV positive. He's not doing no jail time at all because he can pay her 10000 a month. Really? Really, America.
Back in 2016, the authorities considered launching an investigation against she amidst claims that he had exposed several other women to the sexually transmitted disease without warning them. I want y'all to check this out. Because R. Kelly's sitting in jail for 30 years and a lot of y'all, you know, is just happy. But this creep, this creep, who allegedly molested Corey Hain, uh, In 2015, she's fiance Brett Rossi filed a lawsuit saying they had had five sex five times before she found out that he was HIV positive. Rossi alleges that she exposed her to HIV. She also claimed that she was physically and emotionally abused. Ain't that what Denise Richardson said? But y'all ain't trying to hear this because what? His daddy is what? Um, but you got Emilio Estavez and the daddy, Ching, and him. And he's the damn freak. Running around giving people HIV. But he can walk amongst us. I'm really feeling some kind of way about this. You know. Um, ooh. Meanwhile, again, his ex, Denise Richards, recently revealed why she left Charlie when she was six months pregnant with their younger daughter, Lola. The 51-year-old filed divorce since 2005. During a, their explosive split, she accused Charlie of making death threats against her, shoving her and endangering their children due to his pension for prostitutes and pornography. On a new episode of the Dear Media podcast, Divorce Not Dead, Denise said, you know what it was, is I said to myself, would I want my daughters to, to be married to this man? No offense to him, but it's true. She added, and I think he would take that. He would understand what I'm saying. And that's when I was like, why am I accepting this? Charlie and Denise married in 2002. They welcomed two daughters together in quick succession, Sammy 18 and Lola 17. Denise told podcast host Carolyn Stansberry that the collapse of the marriage was down to many things. But I don't regret my marriage to Charlie, obviously at all, because I really do believe that he and I were brought together to have our daughters. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. I feel, though, it was not a good marriage, obviously, nor relationship. There's just a lot that the public doesn't know, and you never know what goes on behind closed doors. So it was just not a good situation. Now, she hasn't said anything um, about if, uh, you know, since he was exposed around 2011, she was out of that relationship. But you know, sometimes you dib and dab and, you know, hopefully she wasn't. I just said that this is insane that this man is walking around after he exposed all these women to HIV and y'all fine with that. Because I don't hear all the stank crew coming out about him like they did about R. Kelly. And to me, whew, okay. Okay, I'm not even going to compare it. I'm just saying, why not him? If R. Kelly get 30 years, you mean tell me he can just walk around because he got money and he can pay somebody $10,000 a month? Come on, people. 
and R. Kelly was going broke from all the lawsuits. Is that why you can get him now? It's the cold world. Okay. See you in the next video, family. Oh, I, I'm anxious. I'm, I'm begging for your comment. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Please, somebody help me. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.